they, uh, they have a great deal of grit and resolve, and they're a close-knit group, and uh, really challenge them on coming out tonight with, with great energy and being excited to have the opportunity to play uh, in a good environment against a good football team, and uh, I think that was key. Our energy was great. And then challenge them on just playing the game and executing game, and uh, we really did that. We took care of the football offensively, created turnovers on defense, and then obviously we ran the football extremely well, which when, when you're playing good ball and you're able to run it like that, it, it makes life a lot easier. On a quarterback making his first career start, but I thought Silo was really effective, especially early in the game, um, and there's plenty of stuff for him to learn from from that. I thought that Marcus Peters, obviously, just a fantastic game with the two interceptions, the forced fumble, and the recovery. Um, and all in all, I thought our offensive line played very good against an aggressive front. It was a good win for us. Is there much doubt with, with Siler this week? Kind of, he'd been saying all week, obviously, he'd been preparing for this, for this shot. And, and can just, is that as good as you could have hoped that? I mean, first I, there's always stuff I wish he would do better. There's a couple throws there in the second quarter, late in the second quarter. I'd, I'd love for him to, to hit. But uh, all in all, for him to come out and, and make some of those throws, a couple of the runs. Um, and then just managing it all, keeping our tempo right. You know, that's one of the concerns when all of a sudden your backup goes in that maybe you can't go as fast as we've been going. I thought we were, we were really fast tonight. Um, and then, uh, you know, a couple big time throws, third and two, the play action, the, the deep ball to Kevin. So, um, really good ball game. A couple of good third down throws, the, the, the ball to Austin on third and long. Um, so, there, there was a plenty of good stuff for him to, to build on. When did you make the call on Slatter? Yesterday? Um, I was I was really clear of what I was going to do with Siler going. Um, we went out to pregame and Keith made it hard because he threw the ball really well in pregame, the best he had thrown it all week. And we, we really came in the locker room and, and said, you know, for us that the right thing to do is to play Siler's prepared all week to do it. We knew we had Keith at our disposal if, if we needed him from an emergency standpoint, but we felt like for Keith's own well-being and, and, and getting healthy and for the team that Siler's preparation and it felt like it was the right thing to do. So does, does Siler's performance today, does that affect the Apple Cup at all? Or well, Keith, Keith is back healthy 100% is he? Yeah, I mean, Keith's our starting yeah. quarterback, you know. Uh, and I'm glad that we didn't have to use him. Uh, and then we'll assess where we're at Monday. You know, we start practice Monday morning and we'll see, we'll see where we're at and we'll go from there. What did you specifically challenge those guys on Siler? What were you getting that you got today? Well, I, I think you know, obviously, we took care of the ball better right off the start. Uh, again, we've created turnovers, and that's been a key for us. As we were getting into this fourth quarter, we had to create more turnovers defensively, and we're sure doing it. You know, the guys are just a tremendous of, of creating turnovers. Um, and I just, I, I just felt like we had a moment on Wednesday. Uh, the guys were working out, and uh, I happened to be in there doing cardio, and I, I saw their energy, and it was a short. Out, but their energy and their enthusiasm was something that it, it caught my attention that these guys were in the weight room after practice getting a workout in and how excited they were to be in there and doing it together. So our, that next morning in the media I said, guys, how that workout was yesterday after practice is exactly how I want practice to go today. And that's exactly how I want the game to go Saturday night. And sure enough, Thursday was probably the most upbeat, energetic practice we've had in a long time. Uh, and that's saying something to the leadership on that team um, that, that, you know, week 11 in the season, you can go out and have that practice on a Thursday coming off of a tough loss at UCLA and all the things they did. And we just tried to come out. And the, the goal was to recreate it tonight. And um, they were excited. They were on fire. But, it, but it, wasn't, it wasn't false enthusiasm. It was real. It was genuine. It was together. Again, I think speaks to the leadership on the team. What's up, Sandra Thursday? Do you feel like something like this was coming? I don't know if you could ever predict it, this. Um, that's a good football team. The Oregon State obviously wasn't their best game. Uh, but I felt like we were going to come and play well. That's that's all you can ask for as a coach. And then you, you see if that's good enough to win. Um, but uh, <laughs> we've been playing good football here the, the last month of the season. It's, it's too bad. You know, not to harp on it's too bad we, we turned the ball over a couple times to start the UCLA game uh, because I think 
week after that, we settled in and played pretty good. But we've been playing good football here the last month or so. Is that a loss on defense? Yeah, that's pretty cool to see. Um, we just you know, we want to play more man to man, and he, he's he's really talented. He's really good. Jadon's making it hard to get him in as much as we want on offense. Uh, obviously, we're using him on special teams. Um, and uh, we knew the next two games, I mean, Oregon State leading the country or whatever they are, throwing the ball. Next week in the Apple Cup, Wazoo, their ability to throw the ball. We just felt like we needed another cover guy that could get in there and do it. And, uh, Rossi loved the idea and accepted it. And, and he's a quick learner. He's got a high football IQ. And I, I think he went in and played great. I don't think they caught a ball on him all night. What did the defense do overall? Well, we, we made them uncomfortable. I think they did a good job disguising coverages and then and, and then getting to them. You know, we got a couple hits. We got some sacks. I don't know what the exact numbers were on sacks, but um, we got to them enough and, and forced some air throws, and we, we caught it. You know, Marcus had two picks in the third. It kind of went right through his hands there. But So we, we forced some tough throws. I thought we were good in coverage. Uh, we were aggressive. We're Ross is still a wide receiver, though, in your mind. Is it just kind of a temporary deal, you think? Or is well, it yeah. Possibly you can see a change there down the road? Or? I'm sure he's going to play both sides of the ball next week. Yeah. And that's pretty safe to say with what Washington State puts on the field. Um, so I'm sure we're going to see him on both sides of the ball next week, and then we'll go from there. 530 yards rushing. What did you do different this week? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if we did anything necessarily different. I thought we executed really well. I thought they targeted our runs extremely well, and I thought the backs ran hard. Um, it was great for Deontay Cooper to, to do what he did and get Dwayne going, and obviously Bishop just is Bishop, you know. And Bishop got a lot of the hard yards early in the game, you know. And those guys kind of reaped a little bit of the benefits late, but uh, I think we executed quite honestly, Kim. It wasn't a bunch of new plays. It was just us understanding the game plan, and I thought our offensive line targeted things well and were really physical. Uh, but, but all in all, I think it was just execution. Just the first couple of series, it just looked really, really easy marching down the field. What was going on? Um, again, I think it was execution. And it was Siler, I think, in really good command. He, he showed a, a great deal of poise. He didn't look like a guy that was uh, making his first career start. It looked normal to him. And I think the guys fed off of his confidence. And we executed well. We ran it. We threw it. Went out and got their stops, and then the offense went and did it again. And our, our sidelines had a great deal of energy, and, and the coaches did a good job preparing the guys. You know, I, I felt great a lot through the day, quite honestly. They were really tuned in, and uh, they went out and executed. So Where did you find that hat that you wore on the sidelines? What's that? Where did you find that hat that you wore? It was just a, I had a beam on the top of this hat. That's all it was. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like my arms being cold, so. Is that, is that coming back? I have a look at the weather forecast. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. yet, so I'm not really sure. So, given you could pretty see finish in this fourth quarter and the way you came out the second half and that drive, was that arguably the best drive you guys have had all year given the circumstances? Well, I don't, I don't know. We, we've had some good ones. This offense has performed at a high level all year. You know, I don't know historically where they stack up and all that, but this this offense has been very efficient. Um, I wish we would have had a couple touchdowns there. We had to settle for field goals in the first half because we've been so good in the red zone, uh, but the credit Oregon State. So I don't know if there's one drive you can say is the best drive we've had all year. I think we went out and performed really well offensively tonight. I think that's just a credit to the to the coaches and the players for preparing really well all week, and then you know into action all the hard work throughout the week, and go out and perform and execute, and not being too uptight, but being locked in and focused and having fun doing it. And what was the message coming out at halftime in terms of just keeping the momentum going? Well, yeah, it was just hey, let's go play, you know. And then Cooks makes a heck of a play and almost steps out for the big touchdown, um, but but we settle in and get the stop and we get the ball and. and had a great drive, you know, just did everything right, ran the ball really well, got some good completions. Um, and our message always coming out of halftime is about finishing, playing 60 minutes um, and, and keeping the same energy because it could have been easy for us to come out of the locker room at halftime and being a little bit cold because we got warmed up and, and not having the same energy that we had had in the first half. But I thought the guys did a great job being excited and fired up to come and play. And then ultimately the execution was How close was this to as complete a game that you've been waiting for? Well, you know, we had the, the one, you know, Colorado we played really good, you know, we just in all three phases. But tonight, you know, 
I thought it was a really good football game for us. You know, even you know we start the one drive I think from our own three or four yard line, and I know we don't score on the drive, um, but when you start back up and then you move it all the way to there in the field, then you then you you know you, you pooch the punt in and make them start from their own eleven, and that, that's a win. You know, I mean that's changing the field position, and that's what good teams do. You know, that's the the special situations within the game and the little things within the game that. That we try to focus.